Let me call you back, man. I just hit level 12. I'm at the office. Good for you. Let me call you back. Shut up and listen, Andy. We're in danger, all of us. I found something. It's called... It's called Prometheus. Come on, man. I'm so not in the mood for another one of your conspiracy theories. This isn't theory. It's fact. I'm downloading the mainframe software. You what? Bryce, it's all proprietary. Who's going to freak when he finds out? They're trying to kill me, Andy. It's my only chance to...
experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. When we awaken an intellect within our machines, will we enter a new enlightened age or a much darker one? Hey, you. I've been getting a lot of grief. Oh, yeah? Yeah, your co-workers don't like being showing up. Only two weeks here and Evan's already brought you in on this pet project. And of course, everyone's blaming me because I brought you here in the first place. Well, I can't help it if everyone here is threatened by my true genius. <laughs> I think it's your modesty that's really getting there. <laughs> here I told everyone Megan recommended you for uh, purely professional reasons. Hey, Brainiac, ready for hoops? Yeah, I'm there. I just have to, uh, have to check with Evan about something first. Oh, of course you do. Wouldn't want to leave without checking in with Evan. See? You know, you two are, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, pathetic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come in. Hey, Zach, how's everything? Ah, good. What's that? It's a, uh, prototype for something I'm not prepared to discuss yet. You hash out that code for me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Actually, that's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, the code, it doesn't seem to make much sense. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I know I only have part of the whole program, but uh, from what I can tell, it seems to be contradictory. That's because you only have part of the program. Don't worry, as long as you follow the parameters, I'm sure it's fine. Just email it to me and I'll take a look. It's in your mailbox. Cool. I just want to say that you've grooved in really well here. I think uh, Megan was right. Oh, thanks. Although I could use something a bit more challenging. More challenging? <laughs> okay, we'll see what we can do. Cool. Yeah. I'll see you, Evan. What do you mean disappeared? Huh. I mean, like, poof, like he didn't want to be found. In five years of working at Quantitron, never had anybody vanish like that. Yeah, Evan flipped. Thought Bryce had, like, taken trade secrets and sold them. Bryce told me he was downloading mainframe software. Well, what for? He didn't get that far. He got spooked about something, ran away from the phone, and never came back. My security team did a sweep of the system. We didn't find any illegal downloads, nothing. In his apartment? Ha! <laughs> when he left, he didn't leave anything behind, man. The place wasn't just spotless, it was stripped. That sounds weird. That isn't the half of it. He started talking about conspiracies, some computer program named uh, Prometheus. Weird stuff, man. The guy was scared, though. Really scared. You didn't take him seriously? I mean, you had to know Bryce. I mean, he got pretty weird near the end there. Started saying his computer was watching him and wouldn't get into elevators. If you ask me, I say Bryce is a paranoid schizophrenic. But where do you even get that from, genius? Get a ball. You gotta wrap this up. Oh! Nothing but net. <laughs> I'm not vouching for the food. What? You take that course on sauteing at MIT? Actually, my doctoral thesis was on how to get out those really pesky stains, remember? <laughs> <laughs> the food looks great, Megan. Thanks for doing this. How was your basketball game today? Um, it's not bad. Not bad. We talked about Bryce. Mm. Yeah, Andy was good friends with him. It's a real shame. I guess he just couldn't handle the pressure. There's a lot of secrecy and security measures at a company like Quantitron. Not to mention the killer deadlines. Well, Bryce apparently talked about this computer program called um, Prometheus. You know anything about it? No. Something at Quantitron. I've never heard of it. Mm. Well, whatever it is, it freaked him out. Yeah, well, I think Bryce is a bit nuts to begin with. <laughs> Probably show up at the airport of the Harry Krishna asking for donations or something. <laughs> Enough about Bryce. Zach, I'm really happy you found your place here. Just like old times. Well, you can wipe that smile off your face. What smile? Come on, that aren't I great for fixing your life for you smile. <laughs> well, aren't I? Who said my life needed fixing? You gotta admit, you're starting to get a bit of a reputation. Well, genius is temperamental, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, well, there's temperamental and then there's temperamental. Well, I promise to be on my best behavior tonight. I hope not.
Hello? Hello? You need to help me. How'd you get in here? They're after me, Zach. Who? It was this stupid class. Wait a minute, you don't want to still be up in the courts. I couldn't come, okay? They're watching. They're everywhere. They're invisible and they're watching. They come through your phones, your computer, they're everywhere. Bryce was right, Zach. He was right. Well, okay, uh. All right, put the gun down, man. Come on, let's 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 talk about this. They're following me. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna stop them, but it's the only thing I can think of. Okay, you need to help me. Okay. You're the only one I can trust. Why me? You, I haven't gotten you yet. You're new. Who? Who? And the people who are trying to kill me. All right, you know what? We're gonna call the cops. We're gonna no, call the cops. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Just relax. What do you want me to do? I need to get access to the mainframe. Root access to the mainframe of Quantitron. And no can do, man. Not without the codes. It's, it's impossible. Not for you. Everyone knows you. You started as a hacker. That you hacked into the Pentagon's database at 14. Right, I am a programmer now. Okay, just like you. All right, that's we're gonna it. break into Quantitron late tonight and get into the intra-office network. Why? Why do we need to get into the Prometheus, mainframe? Prometheus. The price was right. It exists, and it's. They're here. He was agitated. Some people were after him. What people? Like I said, he didn't know. Oh my god. Zach. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, how did you find out about this, Miss? Uh... Riley. Megan Riley. We worked together. I called her after I called you. Any idea why Mr. Wilson would do something like this? No. I'd like you to come by tomorrow and go over it one more time, if you don't mind, Mr. Bennett. Sometimes things come back once you get a little distance. Yeah, sure, it's no problem. Thanks, Detective. Look, you can't stay here tonight, not after all this. I want you to come home with me, okay? I, I still can't get the look on his face out of my mind. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that scared before. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I guess. Go, go on. I'll uh, make sure everything's cleaned up around here. Thanks, Logan. Don't do more.
Becker. Where do you work? The nut house. What is Occam's razor? <laughs> Easy. The simplest solution is usually the right. Global function of cellular automata. I'm not afraid of death. True or false? What type of game is this? Who said it was a game? Okay, that's it. They are watching you. And his death was not a suicide. What? It was a murder. Hey, I missed you last night. Did you get my messages? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. I, um, uh, preoccupied. Okay, I'm officially worried about you. Listen, I, I got, you ever hear of a, a website called Fidelis Veris? True Vision. No, why? All right, well, I got on this site last night, and it started asking me all these questions, and it somehow knew my real name, even though I hadn't given it my name. It said I was being watched. By whom? I, I have no idea. What's going on here? Look, guys, I, uh, I don't have a problem with inter-office relationships, but uh, if it starts getting in the way of the work, well... No, no, no. Uh, 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 we were just conferring on a him. problem, Evan. Oh, I see. You sure everything's okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Megan was just telling me with some code, that's all. Oh, really? Without your computer? See, we like to keep those puppies on. It makes it a little easier to work on. I had to turn the thing off. The, the program I was working on, it froze. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Well, if I can tear Megan away for a moment, I think uh, she has something to show me. The uh, results of the new beta testing. Oh, God, of course. Sorry. Later.
hologram being generated by wireless technology, obviously from a transmitter somewhere. You're the only one that can see and hear me. Who are you? How, how did you get into my apartment? You can call me Merlin. To reveal my true identity would be dangerous. Why? Evan Cole is creating a universal language that will allow any computer to instantaneously talk to any other computer. So? He's trying to reach the tipping point. Okay. If he can achieve instantaneous communication between millions of computers, he believes they may act as neurons within a brain. Creating enough computing power to initiate a consciousness? The tipping point. In which non-thinking computers merge into a thinking intelligence. If Cole can achieve it, he can control every nation's defense and security systems, every financial market, everything on the web. What are you saying? That he's going to rule the world by using computers? <laughs> okay, we, we need to tell the police, the, the FBI, somebody. And what would you tell them? What proof would you give them? It would sound as ridiculous to them as it just did to you. You're right. They wouldn't believe me. I don't even know why I should believe you. Deep down, you know I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? The disc that came with the glasses contains a highly encrypted virus. One that was specifically created to destroy the Prometheus program. The virus needs to be inserted into the mainframe of Quantron at the highest security level. Which you can only access through the computer in Evan's office. Yeah, yeah, that's a piece of cake. Before you do that, however, it's important you download all the mainframe software. If the virus on that disk doesn't succeed, the software you provide us with will be invaluable in creating a new virus. Uh, is that it? Be careful. Trust no one. Nothing. Except what you can see through the glasses. Wait, wait, wait up. I don't see anything. I know. It hasn't worked since last night. And these are identical to the glasses Andy was wearing the night he... Uh... Yeah, you should know. You've got them down to the station. Well, Andy wasn't wearing any glasses. Uh, I mean, I've been through his things. Oh, God. Well, they were there. I saw them. Why didn't you tell me about the glasses before this? I forgot. I'm sorry, okay? I was, I was freaked out that night. And you think that discovering this Prometheus program is what led to Andy's death? Well, yeah, it's the only thing that he and Bryce both talked about. Well, you know, Andy Wilson was deep in debt. He'd been treated for depression. Yeah, you got all that off the web, right? It's all nice and tidy, isn't it? Look, I could get into your personal files down at the police station right now. I could add or delete anything I wanted to, change anything I wanted to. I'm not saying I would, I'm just saying I could. Even if I could manage to get a warrant to go through Cole's mainframe, which won't be easy, by the way, I have no idea what I'm looking for. If you can get me access to those files, I can see the code for the entire program, and I can tell you whether or not this thing really exists. If you do that, Cole will fire you. Get the warrant. I'm sorry, man, my head is just doing this. It's okay, mine either. Actually, I want to talk to you. Yeah? Yeah. About Andy. I told the cops everything. I know. I know, and I know this is going to sound like denial. But just don't buy the suicide stuff. Andy was a friend of mine. There's no way he's the type to eat a gun. The cops, they said he had daddy. He was depressed. Bull. The guy had one credit card. He lived like a hermit. There's no way he was depressed. It doesn't fit. You saw him that night. He seemed suicidal to you. No, he didn't. Look, oh, this is gonna sound crazy. But I think Evan might have had something to do with Andy's death. I mean, maybe it had something to do with this uh, Prometheus program that Bryce told Andy about. I don't know. But something's going on here, Zach. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Detective Saunders? Um, hold, please. Detective 
Grayson? Actually, I'm, I'm holding for Detective Saunders. I'm sorry. Uh, Detective Saunders is dead. What? I, I just I just talked to him. Uh, well, there was a freak accident, and I'm taking over his workload for now. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Go home, order Megan's. I don't want to bring her into this. Do you have a gun? Wait, why? I don't know if a gun's gonna work against these things. It's like they were made out of some kind of electricity or some kind of microwave energy. What things? What's with those glasses? Merlin sent these. Look, he was right, Logan, about everything. Who the hell is Merlin? Zach? What's going on? Prometheus, right? It exists. Andy and Bryce, they knew about it. That's why they're dead. Now I know about it. They're trying to kill me. Who? Evan? Yes, Evan. Evan killed Andy and Bryce. I knew it. Sit down. Let me get you a drink. I don't want a drink, man. We got to figure out what the hell we're going to do here. Oh, we got to call the cops. That, uh, that, that detective. He's dead, too, Logan. I told him about this, and now he's dead. Look, Merlin said to trust no one. I'm risking your life by even being here. We got to do this ourselves. Okay. Okay. Once Prometheus goes operational, Evan is going to be able to control every computer. Now, we got to stop him before he can do that. I'm with you. But how? i got to find a way of breaking back into Quantitron. I mean, I, I got to download the mainframe software. Now, can you get me in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can. It's not going to be tonight. I'll make some calls. I know some guys who are real good at breaking into places and not getting caught. You don't go home tonight. No go to work in the morning. Tomorrow night we'll break in. We need a diversion. Something to draw their attention. Let me work on this, okay? Okay. Zach, don't worry. We're gonna get these bastards. Yeah. In the meantime, you should get some sleep.
is a uh, prototype of something I'm not prepared to discuss yet. This is the only way to make sure we're not being watched or listened to. You know about him, about Merlin? I suspected you talked to him today, too, but I couldn't say anything. I had to be sure. Oh, my God. How did you first find out about it? It's been a while, but ever since Bryce, I've been afraid to do anything. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I understand. Look, Logan is in on it, okay? He's on the other side. Oh, my God. Okay, what are we going to do? We got to get out of this apartment. I mean, they're sure to come looking for me. Now, my guess is that they're not going to expect me to go back to Quantron tonight. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna insert this virus. Okay, well, I'm going with you. <clears throat> you can't. It's too dangerous. If they catch us both, we're done. That's so what I want you to do. I want you to meet me in four hours in that park by the basketball courts. Okay. Where are your glasses? I left them at Logan's. Take these. No, no, I no, can't. You no, you take them. You need them. You can bring them back to me in the park. If I don't meet you... You will. You get out of the city. You get as far away as you can. Then you go to the FBI and you tell them everything that's happened. You promised me that... I promise. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marlon. Got you into this. I'm scared, Zach. So am I. All right, get out of here. thinking entity. A it will absorb data, may analyze it, form its own opinions, make its own decisions. Instantly and independently. And I am constantly evolving, growing, you might say. This is what you're going to use to take over the world. Oh, nothing so, James Bond. It's not about taking over. That is old thinking, tired thinking. This isn't revolution, Zach. It's evolution. Computers control more and more of our lives every day. They control our cars, our planes, our commerce, our homes, our telephones, even our toasters and our coffee makers. And people let them. Do you know why? Because people love their technology. They love the comfort and security that it brings. People have become dependent on their machines. Soon they will give over control of their lives, and they will do so willingly. How can you be so sure? Because this global intelligence I've created will make them feel safe, secure, and cared for. No more hunger, no more war, no more fear. What happens when the skills needed to run this brave new technological world exceed the ability of humans? The only way our species will be able to survive is to merge with our technology. <laughs> is that what Prometheus promised you? It's already begun. 
And Zack, you can be one of the chosen ones. Your code writing ability will allow Prometheus access to computers everywhere. That is the next step. Forget it. Don't disappoint us, Zack. Zack, I picked you over tens of thousands of programmers I could have hired because you had exactly what I needed. I know you, Zack. I am you. You are nothing like me. Really? I grew up feeling apart. Different. My intelligence distanced me from everybody. My peers resented me. My parents paraded me around like some kind of sideshow freak. Does that sound familiar? I never met anybody I could believe in or respect. Not my teachers, my parents, they all felt hollow and fake. Even God. So I created my own God, one that I could truly respect and who would take care of us. A new religion that is going to make this world a better place. Join me in that worship, Zach. No. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Because I, uh, I did enjoy working with you. I believe you've met some friends of mine. There'll be no escape this time, Zach. There's nothing. What happened? They caught me. I didn't insert the virus. They're trying to kill me. Prometheus is an AI program. It's gonna take over. Zach. You gotta go. To come after me. No, I'm not leaving you here. You have to come with me. No! Hang in. Listen to me. I'm dying. You gotta go, you gotta find Merlin, you gotta tell him what happens, they're only hope. No. We're gonna find you a doctor, you listen to me, I need you. Zack, I brought you in to help me stop Evan, that was my plan from the very beginning. Zack. Zack, I'm Merlin. Did you hear me? I'm Merlin. What? What is it? Damn. Heaven was right. He suspected you. I never did. Understand, you want to destroy Prometheus as much as I do. You're right. I did. But I was wrong. Man, I wish you could see it, Megan. It's an amazing program. It's gonna change the world forever. And I, for one, am gonna welcome it. But I gotta admit, I had to go through a bit of excruciating pain before I could see the light. No, this couldn't be possible. Why? I'm afraid you picked the wrong person to be your hero, Megan. I mean, you know, I was never a big believer in the system, the old way of doing things. But now I found my God. I loved you. I know. And I'm sorry. Look, I'm done feeling like a freak. It's a brave new world, and I plan on being at the top of it. Unfortunately for you, getting rid of Merlin is my ticket in. Hey, Prometheus. He's watching us. He wanted to make sure that you were the one.
can't fight evolution. In trying to create machines that think, we should take care that we don't end up creating a new race that will supplant our own.